tell us a little bit about Wi-Fi. Uh, we know that Wi-Fi 6, is, uh, which is A2211AX, has been the newest technology. What does future lie for Wi-Fi? What's new coming in Wi-Fi? Uh, that's also a great question. And Wi-Fi has a bright and long future, and it's on its own evolution path. Uh, on its own timetable as compared to cellular or other technologies. And what's really new is the six gigahertz band and Wi-Fi 7, which targets the six gigahertz band. So we have uh, 1200 megahertz of spectrum. So a lot of spectrum. Uh, it goes from 5.9 to up all the way up to 7.1 uh, gigahertz. And, um, the Wi-Fi community has been very engaged, not just with the FCC, with the U.S. regulator, but with regulators around the world. Because as you know, um, Wi-Fi, I think, is fundamentally different from cellular in the sense of, you know, one of the things that's made Wi-Fi great, it is 100% harmonized. I ne you never have to worry whether your Wi-Fi device is going to not work in another country or region. So. Um, lots of spectrum and technology that's focused on that spectrum. Now, what's interesting about it is, so there are incumbents on that spectrum. There are fixed to point to point uh, services that are on that spectrum. So there was an elaborate proceeding at the FCC and an elaborate new technology, new, new technology moniker that was developed called AFC, Automate, Automated Frequency Control. So um, they've carved up the 1200 megahertz, the FCC did, and then other countries have followed suit such that in parts of the band, high power, higher power, regular Wi-Fi is allowed. In other parts of the band, the only kind of service that's allowed is what's called LPI or low power indoors. And, um, and then there's this central repository of information, the central database, as, as it were, uh, computerized, which is called the AFC. And different companies, Qualcomm, Broadcom, different vendors have um, applied to the FCC to operate their own AFCs. And that AFC, you could think of as sort of like a supercomputer. And it, it you, your Wi-Fi device communicates out to the AFC and gives a location and asks, hey, can I operate here? And if so, on what channel? And you know, the AFC crunches the interference protocols, all the assumptions. It knows where these fixed uh, sites are that have to be protected. And that it answers and says, yeah, you can go on this channel. You're good for high power or no. You, if you, you can only do low power indoors where you are. Et cetera, et cetera. So, this 1200 megahertz is really the future of Wi Fi. So, China has taken a part of this same spectrum, the upper part, upper 700 megahertz, and they've said they, they're going to have that for cellular use. Um, and in Europe, they are still kind of debating. Uh, and so, this will be a, a major topic of contention at the upcoming World Radio Conference because this is a topic where different regions and different countries have um, different approaches. To their credit, the FCC was you know, leading the charge. They were really the first regulator around the world to say 1200 megahertz, you know, this is our next major spectrum band for Wi-Fi. And so the FCC has been very, uh, and that actually goes back to even the, the prior FCC chairman, Ajit Pai, uh, his, uh, and his tenure. So that 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 spectrum and Wi-Fi seven is really the the major uh, and short-term future for Wi-Fi.